Conflict and Courage, February 28th, Return to God, His Own. Genesis 28, verse 22 says, And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. In accordance with the custom of commemorating important events, Jacob set up a memorial of God's mercy that whenever he should pass that way, he might tarry at this sacred spot to worship the Lord. With deep gratitude, he repeated the promise that God's presence would be with him. And then he made the solemn vow of God will be with me will and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth upon thee. Jacob was not here seeking to make terms with God. The Lord had already promised him prosperity. And this vow was the outflow of a heart filled with gratitude for the assurance of God's love and mercy. Jacob felt that God had claims upon him, which he must uh, acknowledge, and that the special tokens of divine favor granted him demanded a return. So does every blessing bestowed upon us call for a response to the author of all our mercies. The Christian should often review his past life and recall with gratitude the precious deliverances that God has wrought for him, supporting him in trial, opening ways before him when all seemed dark and forbidding, refreshing him when ready to faint. He should recognize all of them as evidences of the watch care of heavenly angels. In view of these innumerable blessings, he should often ask with subdued and grateful heart, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? Our time, our talents, our property should be sacredly devoted to him who has given us these blessings and trust. Whenever a special deliverance is wrought in our behalf or new and unexpected favors are granted us, we should acknowledge God's goodness, not only by expressing our gratitude in words, but like Jacob by gifts and offerings to his cause. As we are continually receiving the blessings of God, so we are to be continually giving. I hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.